So that's all for the components. Now let's see how all these pieces fit together in the circuit. Now after all the connections let's connect our Arduino to the computer and now we will head towards the coding section and let's code the whole system according to our desire. Now desire. Desire is closely linked with AI. AI has vast knowledge and capabilities meeting users all information needs. So why not integrate this feature into Arduino coding? Let's give it a try and see how is the output. Now for this purpose I opened directly chat GPT. Obviously the version 3.5 because the version 4 is not free yet and gave it the prompt to generate our desired code and the output came something like this. I made some necessary adjustments in the code because at the end of the day it is a computer and we are humans. So after making all the adjustments to the AI generated code, this is the full and final working version. And you can see here the full code. Additionally, there is another code where the servers rotate at a much faster pace and sequentially. If you notice carefully, the only noticeable difference between the two codes is the delay of 100 millisecond on the last line of the code and also on second last for loop. Void setup part for both the codes are exactly the same. But void loop part for both the codes are different. Because the faster servo motor control has two delays in it. But on the normal servo motor control it has no delay on the void loop section. And the define section for both the codes is also the same. Same values are there and also the libraries included are the same in both the codes okay and also this line is the same in both the codes okay and word rate is also the same which you have to include in serial monitor so at the very first line we can see that the adafruit pwm servo driver library is included as a header file so there are three ways to install this library first go to sketch include library and add zip library now there are a bunch of locations in front of you. Find your destination folder where you have installed the zip library and select it and press open to include the library in the code. This is the first way to include the library. Now for the second method go to this PC and uh, open downloads or the location where you have installed this library. Copy the folder and go to C drive and you will find the arduinos in the program files go to arduino and open libraries now just paste the folder here along with all the libraries 
and provide permission from the administrator and in this way you can install the library successfully into your arduino so this is the second method to install the library the third method is very simple go to include library and manage library and just search for the library and install it now simply compile the sketch and upload the code to your arduino board and here is the whole code i will provide it in the description please find the attach file and before uploading please select the following options as i have selected here okay otherwise you will get a lot of errors in your code and you will finally get fed up as i do sometimes now uh, you can see clearly that I have opened the serial monitor and I have selected the same board red which is 9600 board and you can see the sequence of rotation for all the servo motors are 12345, 12345 they are coming on the serial monitor. This helps you understand that if your servos aren't working the issue might be with the voltage that it get from the voltage regulator and not with the code. So it's much easy to understand from the serial monitor if your code is working or not. Here I am using a 12 volt 2 ampere adapter to power up the voltage regulator circuit. You can also use your own 12 volt battery or any power supply you have. And as soon as I flip the switch you can see the magic happening here. Just wow. And you can control the rotation with the help of the code given. So that's all for today guys, I was Priyo from Shami Electronics with you, see you in the next video, till then, goodbye.